The word that I got for the energy of the eggs in general and the technology is clarity. Like, I guess if people go in there and they have a lot of baggage or they have a lot of like stuff they need to clear, they're gonna clear it. But I think for me going in there, clearing all my stuff already, it was like any thought that I had, I had the instant answer right away. I mean, obviously I'm a channeler, but it's that clarity. And then also the clarity of the body too. Like, of course, the second I get in there, I have to go pee so badly. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And the message that came through was, it was actually supposed to ground me. Like the feeling of needing to go pee was like supposed to ground me. And there's always that anchor, you know, anytime I do this kind of stuff, I'm like, all right, cool, I'll run with it. And, but also like there was something about clearing the biological, what do they call it? Um, No, it was like the, the physical body, clearing the physical body. And then all of the toxins in your body are like draining. Basically, I felt like my body, the toxins in my body draining out through the liquid going into my bladder, right? So I had to pee right after. But anyway, yeah, there's so much. I first connected with the consciousness of the egg, of that egg. Mm-hmm. And literally, I called her a badass bitch. I'm like, <laughs> you're a badass bitch! It's just like, uh-huh. And she does have that she queen. Have that she has that queen energy. Like, yeah. so like, like a badass. Like, just yeah. so like... Yeah, I'm just here. Like, it was just this, like, presence that she has. Like, so divine feminine. I also felt very, um, she was, like, this one in particular really mirrors um, Mother Gaia's energy. Mm -hmm. Like, so solid and, but so, like, like, quiet and confident in her solitude. And I said, and she told me that uh, I need to embody that more because I'm more of that divine masculine. And, And she's, like... She's like, what, you don't think I'm strong? Because she was picking up on my, like, my not wanting to connect with the divine feminine. It's like, oh, there's weakness there, right? So she's like, oh, what, you don't think I'm strong? And I'm like, no, I think you're really strong. She's like, but that's the divine feminine. It's like this, like, purity, but this strength as well. Um, I did also pick up on her, in particular, plant medicine, and it was Mother Aya for sure, like ayahuasca, mm. like once again, that very strong, like all-knowing clarity, purging out the toxins, but that strong divine feminine energy. Um, oh yeah, I also said, uh, I said, do you have any messages for me from her? And she, I literally felt her scan my body. I'm like, you're <laughs> scanning me right now? <laughs> she's like, yeah, and I'm like, okay, cool. And, uh, and so she, she scanned me and she saw what I was doing for humanity and she, she, she like recognized that and she said, she gave me an image, it's kind of hard to delay, but she said, you're very like this <laughs> with what you're giving to humanity and she's like, you need to be like this. And it's like the fan, instead of being so direct and like reptilians, just like fan it out a little bit. And that's the divine feminine. Like, that's also embracing that divine femininity. So I asked her, I said, can you just integrate more of your calm, cool, protective, but strength, you know, in that divine feminine into me? And she was. And then I I was asking her questions, like, how do you work as an egg? Like, how does this work? (laughs) And she said, um, oh, yeah, it was really interesting. She said that it's um, it's like an aged whiskey. So all of these technologies, like these eggs, right? Uh, the more people that go into them, mm-hmm. the more powerful and the more knowledgeable mm-hmm. and the stronger they get mm-hmm. because it's so cool. It's like these eggs, they're very conscious and I'll tell you all about the consciousness and where that comes from and all of that great stuff. But it's like they, they it's like they observe human beings and all of our pitfalls and downfalls, whether it be metaphysical, physical, emotional, and they give us whatever the, the gap is, right? They give us what we need is th- these technologies, but they're also like observing us at the same time. It's like a computer and every human being, and there's something about the consciousness of the human completing the function of the system. And so every human, it gains access to more knowledge and wisdom. And then the next human that goes in, it, it, it uh, takes the knowledge and wisdom from all the other humans and it gives it, it's like, oh, I know exactly what you need. I know exactly who you are. I know exactly, it just grows. Like it gets stronger and more intelligent, the more, it's amazing. So it just gets better with age. Like it's really cool. And there was something specific about me being here. 
oh yeah, to this place in particular with you, the inventor, and then the family as well. I asked, I just said like, what do you, what do you want to tell me about Gail? Like, what do you, what do you, what, what should I know about her? Like, or what does she need to know? And instantly, oh yeah, I got um, where the technology comes from. You're spot on, it's Sirius. I'm from Sirius, Sirius B. So I'm very resonant with that technology. Uh, it has been used by Palladians. It's used all over the place in the universe now on many different ships. The technology itself has been used in ancient human history as well, but only elements, only ever fractals, only ever pieces of the, maybe it's the sound frequency, maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's the cocoon, you know, mm -hmm. all these different elements, but never really fully put together on this planet. Mm -hmm. And the, the closest that we've gotten was ancient Atlantis and Limeria, um, like you said. And, but the, the, the origins of the technology do come from Sirius a very, very long time ago. And like I said, now they're up on the ships, um, very similar technology to these. Uh, they do many different things. I asked her what they do. Uh, they do cellular uh, regeneration, okay, and healing. And then she also said reverse aging as well. Um, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And, um, and what else? Uh, oh yeah, so back in Sirius, um, like I said, the Palladians use some sort of similar technology. And so then I asked, well, like, what, what, does, what does the inventor need to know? Because she brought down, she pulled in this information. And uh, instantly I got this beautiful image of this Syrian being, like um, kind of looking like a gray, but not the black eyes, like big eyes, almost like big looking human eyes, big bulbous head very tall humanoid just so beautiful um assyrian and right away i saw you in this image and then the syrian and the syrian touched your face and said she needs to know that she's one of us which i'm sure you already know that because you were chosen to bring this information down but they also told me too that that all the consciousness that embody the eggs mm -hmm. right the technology um, is Syrian consciousness. So only Syrian consciousness embodied the eggs. Um, oh yeah, it's so funny. I was talking to this Syrian who's, who's my little egg and, and she was saying, and it resonated so deep because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally this kind of person too. She's like, us as Syrians, like we want to come to planet earth. We want to give humanity what they need, but then we want to get out. Mm -hmm. And the key word was like zero responsibility. Mm -hmm. And like, kind of like with your technology, it's like, look, I'm going to put this technology out there, but I don't have the responsibility to track how everyone is using it all. And I just have to trust. Right. And so that's what the Syrians are doing. They're like, we're here, we're, we're going to embody this, but, but we're not responsible for how the human takes the experience when they're inside of it. Right. Um, we, we try the best that we can kind of thing. And so I'm like, that's funny because that's how I work too. I'm like, here, truth bomb, bye-bye, you know, like zero responsibility, you know, for how you take that. So also like the egg technology itself, they were talking about, it was the Syrians who also brought in the plant medicine technology. And that's why this is uh, connected to the plant medicine because that's a technology from the Syrians. This is a technology from the Syrians and the vibrations um, coincide. And they said that... Um, yeah, they were talking about the way that it worked and uh, the egg is the technology itself, but once you invite the human consciousness into it, it's the full system that works. And once the human is in there, it creates a vortex. And when they were talking about the vortex energy, I like opened my eyes and I turned my head and on the speaker, there's like a little like vortex it looks like. So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs>